Welcome back to the show. Today on the show, I'm going to show you how to add coins. And I'm sure at school right now, you might be learning how to add coins. And one habit I want you to get into is that you always add the biggest coin first. So let's say I have a bunch of coins like this. I have the quarter, dime, nickel, and penny. So what I want to do is I want to take the, the largest value coin and put it first. Then the next one, I got 25 cents for the quarter. Which one? I have 10 cents, nickel, and a penny. That's right, I'll put a dime here. Then I'll take a nickel first, and the dime is 10 cents, nickel is five cents, and then I have a penny. This makes it a lot easier when you are adding coins. And check out my other video. I have a video on learning how to tell the value of coins, and um, another video uh, goes into more detail about coins and, and what they're made and, and some fun facts about that. So let's get right into this lesson right here. You're going to have a paper, uh, a page like this on one of your workbooks. And sometimes what I like to do is I'll put the value of the coin right here. I'll put 25 here. I'll put a dime here. Or let me see, I'm sorry, 10 cents here, five cents here, and a penny right there. And they're gonna have blanks underneath these coins. And what they want you to do is add the value as you move along, okay? So first of all, this is would be 25 cents, okay? 25 cents plus a dime plus 10. So you just go, you count by 10. So it's really important to learn how to count by 10. So you go 25, 35. And if you went to on the side, you know, get some practice, you just go 25, 35, 45, 50, or you can go 10, 20, 30, 40. But get in the habit of counting by tens. So 25 plus 10 is 35 cents. Okay, now we take 35 cents plus a nickel. So 35 plus five is 40, 40 cents. Now we add the penny right now. So 40 cents plus a penny would be 41 cents. Okay, let's do another problem here. All right, now sometimes on the paper you are going to uh, you're gonna have to tell the difference on coins. You're gonna have to be a master at telling what the coins are because they might have a coin like this. Hello, kitty. <laughs> My kitty always joins the show. He loves doing, she loves doing math. So you might see her in a lot of my videos there. Yeah, we're teaching the kids right now how to add coins. It's always something new on this show and exciting. All right, so get to know your coins you know, what a quarter looks like from the front and the back, what a dime looks like from the front and the back, and a penny. Because in some of the books, you might just have some circles like this, okay? So I'm gonna put up a couple circles here. And I'm gonna do a problem for you and see if you can work with me on this. A lot of circles. And you can do this at home too. You, you can have somebody make up a bunch of coins and then you have to add it. And so right now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put in 25, 25 representing some quarters. And this will be a dime, another dime, another dime. Here will be a nickel. And these will be pennies. Okay, I wrote the value down here. And just write your lines underneath here. Okay, it's kind of a fun exercise. And you can get together with another student and make up some things too. But remember, it's always important to have the largest coin, the one with the most value, on that side of the paper, on this side of the paper, starting there. And then you work down, okay? Okay, so let's start. I'm gonna add up all these coins. 25 cents right here, plus another 25 is 50. And please, uh, you gotta get in the habit of being able to count qu uh, quarters, 25. So I always tell my students every single day, we kind of go over something like that. We go 25, 50, 75, 100. 25, 50, 75, 100. 25, 50, 75, 100. 25, 50, 75, 100. Get to know your quarters. Remember, four quarters equal a dollar. Okay, let's move on. 25 plus another quarter is 50 cents. 50 plus 10, get to know your, your tens, be able to count by your tens. 
50, 60, plus another one, 70, plus another one, 80. So you got 80 cents right now. Now we're gonna go by fives. Don't get mixed up with the dimes anymore. Now we're going by fives. 80 plus five, 85. Okay, 85 cents plus another nickel, 90 cents. Now we're going on to pennies, okay? 90 plus one, 90 cents plus one penny, 91. Okay, 92. 93. Okay. Easy cheesy lemon squeezy. We have 93 cents worth of coins right here. How fun is that? So what you can also do is ask your mom or dad at home, mom, can I have a bunch of coins? And you can take your coins and you can lay them out like this and learn to count them. And then say, mom, is this 75 cents over here? And she can come by and say, yeah, that's 75 cents. You did a really good job there, honey. So <laughs> you can do that. So practice with that. Also, when your mom or dad go to the store, you know, and they might be using some cash, just say, hey, mom, can I see what you're doing there? You know, kind of get involved in that. Learn. Learning is fun. Math is fun. Make it fun and you'll learn. Also, check out our other videos on here. We have so many cool videos. We have drawing videos, educational videos. You're going to love it. Like always, have a fun day. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.